so I think I figured out how to add my microphone in so hopefully now it works and I'm not talking to myself again so this time we're gonna be doing the expansion draft and we have our team created so I think we're gonna just go right in we have the second overall pick in the draft but we gotta do the expansion draft first so let's get into it so from the Anaheim Ducks I already think I know who I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the centerman since there's not gonna be much centers he's a decent guy to, put, to play and uh, most likely will be a top six center for us because we're not gonna be getting a lot of them here this is all about trade value so I'm gonna be taking Jason Demers he'll probably be traded as quick as possible this is an easy pick for me I'm gonna take Marcus Johansson 83 overall and he's still there so take advantage of that here we'll take our backup goaltender Linus Olmark possibly an AHL starter but he'll be unbelievable in the NHL no goalies are here which is odd I thought they'd leave Mike Smith out but uh, Curtis Lazar is available and uh, he's a great player so we're gonna take him here is uh, Brock McGinn I think that's an easy decision yeah because we're not gonna be getting a lot of forwards and defensemen are gonna be all over the place so. here is another easy to fit decision I don't like defensive defenseman and his contract is awful but He's a good trade value. Plus, we have we're gonna have a ton of cap space most likely. Philip Grubauer is in also an easy decision. Good value, decent goaltender. Hopefully, he can pan out for us. Keith Kincaid would be great value, but I'm gonna have to go with Jonas Corposalo as he can grow. I've seen him get pretty high, but hopefully with us he gets even higher. Hudobin is my favorite goal. I want to take him, but we already have three goaltenders. So I think we're going to be good for goalies unless it's an AHL backup. Like, I think Garrett Sparks is going to have to join us because we have no... The Leafs have literally nobody besides him. Uh, DC defenseman here we could take. But I'm going to go with Tyler Pitlick because we need forwards. Dilla Rose we're going to take here. I like youth because I've seen Dilla Rose get pretty high overall. Adam Larson... Basically, they got nothing for Taylor Hall since we just stole Larson. Uh, here it's tough. Sevier and Uyghur are the top guys here to take. I think Uyghur is pretty good. Sevier, we're going to have enough forwards. Might as well take a defenseman now. He can be an AHL guy for us. Alec Martinez is going to be the unanimous yeah, decision. Easy to take. That was the easiest decision I've had to make so far. Martinez, there was no one compared to him. Mark Spolino we're going to take. I might switch him to center because I have to go in here to look at his... Look at him. Uh, I don't like his contract, but he's got 79 face off, so he can be a centerman for us. I'll probably move him to the center position. Andrew Shaw, he's also a good decision because... I don't like his contract, but... He's always seemed to play well for me whenever I do this, so. Ryan Ellis is going to be an easy take. He has a contract extension coming up, so I'll probably trade him next year when his extension is up. Uh, Mirko Muir, I can take him. Decent defenseman. Another simple decision, Thomas Hickey. He's a good defenseman. Uh, they literally have nobody, so I think I'm gonna just, uh, yeah, it's just, it's, I have to, it's, they, I don't know why they have no one, there's so many young players, I guess, they're on their rookie deal still. Brian Gibbons, I just prefer his contract well more than, uh, Gabrick. We need centers, really badly. Raffle. I'm pretty sure he's also decent at face -offs. Nope, that's that's not him. That is, um, there's another player. Scott Lawton, that's who it is. That has good face -offs that we could try and go for. Ryan Dumoulin's there. Yeah, they got no one else, so I think we're going to take Ryan Dumoulin. A lot of defensemen, so. Vlacek is the easy decision here. Good value. Probably flip him for a pick or something else. 
Patrick Maroon, solid forward. We're gonna need centers really badly though. Another left winger, my goodness. Yanni Gord, taking him, no doubt. Run Hainsey. Okay, they have Hutchinson there, but Garrett Sparks probably has higher potential. He never grows, like, he won't grow. Like, 70 poise is not gonna make him grow. He's not there for us to keep. We're gonna be trading him. Just because we need a center, I'm gonna take him instead of Tim Shower because Biego, Biego has great face-offs. Didn't have a great year, but he has fantastic face-offs. 85, so he's a great penalty kill. Penalty killer. Uh, as we need a center, you'd think I'm gonna take one of these guys, but no, I'm gonna go down here and take Christian Stevenson. Yo, I always take him. He's been good. Last pick. I want to take Matthew Perot so badly. I don't like his contract, but he's decent at face-offs. He can play center for us, and he's very fast. Nobody else really stands out on this list. Brassois, I don't want him. I'm going to take Matthew Perot. Mm, doesn't mean I'm going to play him there. And I think we're good. This is what the Warriors are going to look like. Obviously, it's going to look a lot different down the road, but this is what we're going to start with. So here's the team. Some key picks here. Yanni Gord. I think Jonas Corposalo could be a big pick there. Marcus Johansson's also a good player. Adam Larson. I'm most likely going to trade him. I never really liked Larson, especially in this mode. Ryan Ellis is also going to be a huge piece. Mark Edward Vlaschek. We got a lot of good players here. So hopefully we can turn this team into something good down the road. Okay, now that's all that's left to do is the draft. And if we go in, no, we need to look at the draft class. We already know what we're going for. Obviously we have the second pick and Buffalo is going to keep their pick most likely. Why would they trade it? They could Dolly in and that winger. So yeah, they take him. Foggivore is off because I hate Foggivore now. Timothy Brylin. He already looks like a stud. Great speed, good size, and great passing for his overall. But we are going to be taking the left wing sniper. Easy decision. Nikita Zaitsev. Welcome to the Warriors. Also played in A plus league. 73 overall, it's pretty low, but he is 17 years old. I'm pretty sure this guy's 18, yeah. So he'll start in the minors. I'm guessing the next guy is gonna be high overall. Oh no, okay. So drop, high drop off in overall. Let's steal, just looking at the next couple guys. Yeah, it's a pretty big drop off here. So, good. I'm glad we got that pick. So we have a couple guys that are, that we wanna take. So, let's go see when the next guy is that we actually check watch list. Is there not a way to do that? Oh, pin. Here it is. So these are the guys. I could have sworn we pinned more. Yeah, we pinned. We did pin more people, but so I think we were safe for this round to pick someone else. Let's go by. Uh, central scouting. Uh, C minus little competition. I like this guy. He looks good. I think I'm gonna go with this guy. He's probably a defensive defenseman because of his uh, size, but let's just hope not. Okay, not a good pick. Yeah, because the pick. Actually, this is not this is not a deep draft at all, so I'm not mad. Let's see what this pick is, 67. So we might just go ahead and select this guy, the goaltender, Jeremy Ness. Hopefully, it'd be something special. And medium starter, I'll take it. If, if he's 17, that's even better. He's 18, so he'll be a he'll be a challenge, but we can hopefully be able to uh, get him something good. 
So it looks like that guy was already taken. The guy I had that I wanted to take. So let's see what he was. I think it was this guy, Koski. Yeah, so he was not anything. Yeah, this is a very terrible draft. Let's hope to God we get a steal here. I can't be too mad because no one's really getting anything. I already looked at that guy. Two-way defender, so... Yeah, we're gonna have to just... Pray for something special. Again, this guy is definitely not an enforcer. Because if he is, then he's not gonna be at the team. Because... Look at his size. His size does not match his type. So there's no way he's an enforcer. Defensive defenseman. Low top four. Okay. So that was a that was a good pick. I'd say that's the biggest steal we're gonna get. I can't see us getting something better, so. Couple of possible elites here. No games here. Okay, so they're barely scouted, so. The center of the defenseman. I want the center. So we're going to see what he is. Bottom 6 forward. That's not bad, honestly, for what the other... Yeah, because, like, they're getting AHL guys. The last pick of the draft, it looks like. It's all AHL guys. I straight away just see this guy. It's a real person. He's 20. There's no reason to take him. It'd be a waste of a pick. I think if we keep going, we can maybe find someone better. Like this possible low elite guy. He's not real, but he's... Jaden Wesley. He'll probably be at the top of the list anyways, so... Yeah, okay, so... I might go for this guy. Affen Genoff. Let's see what he is. Medium backup, so... That's not even that bad. People are getting way worse than that, so... I'll... Take it, I guess. Can't be too mad. So, we did get a medium elite at the second overall pick. Not high overall, but it's okay, because our initial team wasn't going to be good anyways. And I think that's where I'm going to end this one off, and uh, see you in the next video. It'll be part three, it'll be the resign phase, free agency, and then simulating to the preseason. And, um, see you then.